What's up, love and marriage? I got the other half of my marriage in here today. My lover, my homie lover friend, my other half, my husband. Hi, husband. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is like you can crack me up with this so-called podcast voice. <clears throat> Voice. <laughs> I've been waiting to get him in here for a minute. He's a busy man working, you know, providing for his family. Is that what you're doing, babe, at work? I try. I mean, mostly I just hear him crashing stuff around. But anyway, so, babe, what did you think when we, when I decided to start a podcast? What did you think about it? I thought it was a really good idea to get your ideas out and express yourself. Mm hmm it helps just to talk about anything that's on your mind. It's healthy. What's been your favorite one so far? It's hard to pick because I like certain things out of each one. So there's, I can't put a favorite on one. Mm -hmm. If you can pick something uh, valuable out of each one. I know you said you enjoyed the conspiracy theory one. That was very entertaining. <laughs> So anyway, like I said, this is my husband, um, and as I mentioned in episode one, me and him have been together almost eight years. Mm -hmm. We have been married for one whole whopping year. We got married in our 40s. Um, we, I mean, when we met, how was it, babe, when we met? What made you like me or whatever? You're goofy. <laughs> You're a weirdo. Um, your hard working, your determination, you're silly, you make me laugh. I mean, that's 90% of it. And it's just So, as I said in episode one, when we met, we were not looking for marriage, right? No, we were not. We were just like, yeah, I'm going to try going out on a date. And that's our dog, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So then we met, and then we've been together, like I said, eight years since. And so he's been intending to join me talking on this podcast, but it's been, he's a busy man, like I said. And so I, I had to get him in here while I could. So I came up with this, a figure to, as an icebreaker to pop your cherry, per se. Okay. <laughs> We're going to ask them a couple questions. Ooh. So, this is 50 questions you could ask your partner during date night. And since it is our date night, we haven't went anywhere yet, but we are. Let's go ahead and start. So, if you could relive a year in your life, what age would you choose? Huh. I have redos in every year of my life. Um... I don't have a year. Is there like an age? What age? Okay. I don't know. Let's see. Fourteen. Fourteen. What was so great about fourteen? Nothing that great about it. It was traumatic, but I wish I would have made a lot better decisions. Like I think I feel like in that in those years when I was really out there like that mm -hmm. and just acting fool. Uh, I could have made a lot more better decisions, which would have guided me into uh, I would have just picked a better path. Yeah. Many better paths. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't even make No, no, you're fine. What is your favorite memory of us dating? Oh. <laughs> it's been it's an adventure with you every day. Well, what's your favorite memory? I mean, uh, you can, if you can pick one. I can't pick one. Let me see. What I mean, I we can just one? lay in the bed and be like stupid and goofy all night. Be laughing at the dumbest stuff. I think definitely my favorite memory. I would say I could say what's, I could say our favorite vacation, and that was definitely okay. when we went to Mexico. 
the first time or when that, that time I got drunk and <laughs> passed out? Yeah. That was, like, that was my favorite time. That was very fun. That was our first time there, wasn't it? Yeah. And for you? Our best vacation? Best vacation, best memory, whichever one you want to pick. Uh, I mean, uh, I'd have to say when we was four wheeling on the beach, that was. That was really nice. Very. Yeah. It, that one sticks in my mind. I keep replaying that. Well, I do want to redo that if, I, if we could. Uh, but as far as the event, just you and I swimming in the ocean together all day long. Yeah. Like we were there for hours and hours. No, it's like two little, like little kids playing at the playground. I think that's what makes us good together because we don't have any kind of like we we don't have a problem being kids together. All right, if you could write a note to your younger self, what would you say in only three words? Three words, note to your younger self. Then get over. <laughs> That's kind of good. I would say, in the words of Biggie, trust no one. <laughs> That's what I would say, actually. Just because I always got to keep it gangster. What's another career that you think you would love? I think I would have been an awesome Air Force pilot. Yeah, you always talk about that. That would be cool. <clears throat> For me, career, I don't know. I hate working, but I like making money. So a job where I didn't have to feel like I was working would be that. I don't Just know existing that. and getting paid? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's not that is. But. I get paid to sit here. What was your favorite date you've ever had with me? First one. First date? What was so special about that? I don't know, just your smile. Just getting to know you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our first date. So what, what happened? We, on our first date, he picked me up, which is, uh, we talked like a couple of weeks before because I normally don't let anybody come to my house because you could be a killer. But we FaceTimed and everything, so I knew he was a normal person. But yeah, we went out and we had dinner and we had ice cream. We went to the casino. Yeah, we had a good time. Let's see. Um, what, was, what was my favorite day with you? I would say... <sighs> I mean, I love, you know, we had a long distance relationship for a little bit because my job moved. So I loved when you came and surprised me and we went to the mountains and for Mother's Day, actually. So it's almost like, yeah, Mother's Day one thing? Yeah, when you came. So that was really sweet. That was like, because that was a date. So it was like my perfect date. I love when you did that. Um, What do you attribute the biggest success in your life? Uh, just, I don't know. Your kids or your... Kids, marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, just from being at the bottom to coming to where I am today. I mean... What about failures? I, I got a ton of those. How much time you got? <laughs> that, was <part laughs> that was a part of the question. How much time you got? I guess that was the same, like marriage and kids and... I guess a second chance at this. Mm -hmm. This thing we call love. And marriage. <laughs> In what ways are we the same? Goofiness. Yes, very. Uh, I'd say caring. Like, we care so much about each other that we'll fight with each other over caring about well, that's, each other. Well, that's the funny thing about <laughs> me and him is, like, we're pretty much, our, we're the same sign. And so our birthdays are two days apart, and it shows because, like, we're both moody. But, like, sometimes our moods are, like, at the same time. So, like, <laughs> but no. Yeah, we are definitely goofy. Big kids at heart, definitely. But definitely genuine people. We definitely... Hey, being like 
faith people. So, in what ways are we different? TV? <laughs> TV shows? Yeah, and he doesn't like any kind of cream cheese or yeah. any kind of ranch. And our food, our food tastes are definitely different. Um, definitely. Definitely when it comes to food. Which is funny because if you can only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Steak, wouldn't it? I don't know. I could live off pasta or and taco. Ooh, I could live off some tacos. Some tacos it would be. Yeah, tacos because that, <laughs> that has meat and vegetables all mixed in it. Mm, I'd probably pick barbecue. I could eat barbecue every day. Um, if so, oh gosh, if so, this is question's crazy. If someone you love was killed in front of you, Damn. but if someone created a copy of them that was perfect right down to the atomic level. Would they be the same person, and would you love them just as much? No. You can't beat the original. I agree. You can try. Actually, I don't, you can... I'm almost wondering what, I would almost want to destroy the copy, because <laughs> it's like, how dare you try to reincarnate somebody I love? <clears throat> like, why? I would be waiting for that flaw to show me you're different, so... I wouldn't even, I mean, if someone was killed in front of me that I loved and then someone created a copy level, them, I would not even like that with that person because I know it's not the real person. What if they cloned Eugene? That's our dog. And no, because we have made her the way she is. <laughs> um, what's the question you've always wanted to ask me but never have? Not really, because I always ask you everything. Yeah. Um, I would probably. What would you I? You at the risk of an argument. <laughs> what a question, but uh, um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, me and you, we have our dialogues pretty open. We pretty much talk about all kind of stuff. So, what's something you've always wanted to tell someone that you probably haven't? There's a couple people I could cuss out. <laughs> but I haven't. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> In what ways have I changed since we first met? <clears throat> well, I mean, you've pretty much stayed the same. You're staying your same self. I guess there's parts of your life that you did change. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, uh, I mean, you're still funny, you're still a workaholic, you're still <laughs> a go-getter, you're still, uh, responsible and accountable, you're, you're just still awesome. That sounds so boring. I'm I know. Responsible so, accountable. so politically correct. Um, what ways have you changed? You are a lot more, I mean, you communicate more with me. I feel like... You are more open with me. Um, that's one way you change. Um, well, I'll look at this. Is there anything I can do to show you love better? Oh, yeah, but I ain't gonna say it on this podcast. <laughs> like most men, that's <laughs> all. <laughs> if safety wasn't a concern, which natural phenomenon disaster would you want to experience? Uh, earthquake tremor? You'd want to experience that? I'd want to be in the eye of a tornado if safety was an issue. You mean a hurricane? No, a tornado. I want to be like in the middle of it. I want to. If it was, if safety wasn't a concern, oh, I would like. Oh well, then that's all of them. I wouldn't want to experience all of them if my safety wasn't at risk. Yeah. Who is standing in the simulation? Yeah. Who is one person in your life that you have a lot of respect for, and why? My mama. Your mama. Why? Mm -hmm. She your mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. If Mother's Day weekend, I could go a million ways why she's so awesome. Yeah. I would say the same. Everybody knows I love my mama. That's what me and him have in common. We love our mamas. If you had one mantra to live by, what would it be? 
Fuck it. <laughs> this favorite mantra ever. I would be, uh, I would say. Can we cuss on this podcast? Yes, okay. you have my permission. Um, my mantra would be, you know. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. Yeah. I say that all the time. <laughs> Lord have mercy this next question. No. <laughs> what is your favorite thing that I do in the bed? Keep it PG thirteen. And then I can't. Uh, <laughs> wiggle. Wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. That's as far as I can go without it getting weird. Yeah. Um, the best thing that you pretty much let me torture you in any kind of way, like if it's like just messing with you, your face, or whatever. Whatever I feel like doing, he's pretty much open to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's something you're, you're glad you'll never have to do again? <sighs> it better be getting married. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, say whatever you want to say. No, that's that's it. Yeah. Date. Yeah, dating sucks. I'm glad I never have to date. <clears throat> if you could wake up tomorrow having gained one quality or ability, what would it be? Uh, uh, mm, the ability to get richer. I mean, business management or money management, all the all those things. I totally be invisible. Like if I could have the ability to be invisible. You mean a superpower? It says oh, oh. quality or ability. I mean that, uh, that's I mean if vague. it's not a superpower, then what else? I don't want any more quality. I mean, I'd like to fly and be invincible <laughs> and be invisible and be able to breathe in outer space. Is there or something that's a rock? If outer space exists. Yeah, oh my God, here we go. <laughs> Is there something that you've dreamed of knowing for a long time? A bunch of things. Uh, hit every major city in the world. Mm-hmm. Why haven't you just work? Work, money, responsibilities. Same. Your house containing everything you own. Jeez, catches fire. After saving your loved ones and pets, you have time to safely make a final dash to save any one item. What would it be and why? The keys to the Cadillac? <laughs> of course. What? Wedding, what um, say wedding pictures or something? I don't know. I would probably want to save my... Yeah, definitely my photos. Just say one thing. Just say you have an option. One thing... I guess my biggest plant that I've taken for really a plant. Yes, because I'm saying forever to grow. So yeah, plant. <laughs> what is your idea of a romantic night with me? Just being with you in general. We could do nothing and it'd be romantic for me. Same. What is your idea? Okay, am I a safe person for you to talk to? Yes. They don't. If I were to die suddenly today, what is one thing you would want me to know? I don't know. I have no secrets, so. <clears throat> I wish, I mean, how much I love you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I would say. Like, I lo- like you really, like you really like really the love of my life you know we always say that we were we were we pretty much grew up around each other our whole entire life we never met which is funny missing each other barely. and so like yeah I would just say like I'm so glad I finally found you and I could spend my final days with you all right when did you first know you loved me When I had to hear your voice and your giggle and stuff, like, I had to hear it. I have to have it. 
Oh, you. Um, when you just like he was so and when we were dating, of course, <laughs> when he was wooing me, he would just like you know come and like whatever like shovel my driveway in the snow when we didn't live together. You know, make sure my driveway was clean. He just was such chivalry. He still does that. He he definitely I can definitely say in our marriage we definitely spoil each other. I think that's it's funny because that's one of the things we get mad at each other about because we're so attentive to each other's needs that when they when we don't we kind of like pout <laughs> <laughs> i agree with that yeah um what is your biggest fear losing anyone that i love mm-hmm. what is my biggest fear I mean, obviously, like, it takes money to do most things, but I guess my biggest fear would be just not doing something that I really wanted to. Like, leaving this earth before I got to do everything I wanted to do. <clears throat> what do you feel your best at? I know you won't say it about yourself, so I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> he has a hard time of giving himself compliments. Um, he's really good at just like painting and he's very smart. Um he's very like I love his laugh. Um he's very good at making me happy. And yeah. What about me? What's your something you're good at? Uh-huh. Shh, everything. You're funny, goofy. <laughs> you make me laugh, you know. You're very uh, nurturing. Nurturing. What would constitute a perfect day for you? Me and you coming all rich in one day and (laughs) nothing gets on my nerves. That would mean we're not driving because this man has terrible Yes, we'd be in it. We'd be (laughs) chauffeured. Yeah. (laughs) I would definitely want to be on the beach. Just doing absolutely nothing. That's a perfect day. Okay, that's, I'll take that. <laughs> if you could change one thing about your looks, what would it be? Not, not pretty cute. <laughs> He's not even playing either. That's the funniest part. Um, obviously, I have total a total six pack. You're beautiful the way you are. But I would have a six pack. What is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? I do something embarrassing every day. That's very true. Some of it I have on film. (laughs) Still? (laughs) No, not still, but... Yeah, okay. It's called the cloud for a reason. <laughs> you still got it. No. If you still retain access to it, you it's still have it. It's up in my mental yeah. library. I say I'm in, I do something embarrassing all the time. Like every day. I live in humiliation. <laughs> What's a new hobby you'd like to try? Hmm. I don't know. Flying? Flying like a plane? Mm-hmm. I want to do like skeet shooting. I wish um, I do like shooting. I wish we could do that more, but I like to do outdoor shooting. What physical feature do you like about me the most? Eyes. Eyes. Your big bug eyes. <laughs> so romantic that I look like a bug. Definitely your smile and love your dimples. My favorite thing, your dimples, your deformity. You know that's a deformity, right? I told you that. (laughs) What is one of your favorite memories from your childhood? Mm -hmm. Just being out all day, cousins or friends riding bikes. Mm -hmm. Not coming, being gone forever and not coming home until dark. Like you're coming on and you're scared. Like I know it's late. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I miss that too. If you could live anywhere in the world for just one year, where would you live? Any place with blue water is hot, hot and a beach. Same. Now here's a superpower, which we've already said. You would fly. I would be invisible. I would be invisible and super strong. 
What makes you feel overwhelmed at work? Just going, right? Just being there, <laughs> knowing I could be doing something else. Yeah. What would you like more out of our relationship? Time. Time, yeah. If a child somehow survived and grew up in the wilderness without any human contact, how human would they be without influence of society and culture? I don't know. What do you mean? What does that mean? Like, if you grew, I mean, a, a, part, a kid grew up in the woods, pretty much, no society or culture. How human will we see this person? We probably depends on what pack of animals they live with. <laughs> So <laughs> will be able to survive by himself. We pretty much like are such a judgmental culture. I don't think we'd see them as a human almost. We'd almost see them as some kind of mm. yeah, some kind of Even like, within this culture we're still capable of seeing other people as subhuman. Yeah. So I don't think that would really matter. Do you think you would make a good food critic? I would say no because you don't like most things. Ah uh, yeah. I'm picky. <laughs> Given the choice of anyone in the world, who would you want to have a dinner with as a guest? Hmm. Dead or alive or just alive? I, I guess so. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Hmm. Um, I would probably pick... Who would I pick? So many people, but... Um, a dead or alive, I'd probably just pick my grandma. Mm. What turned you on most? About you or in general? Uh, I hope don't nothing else turn you on. Well, I mean, like, what if <laughs> that wooden door turns me on? Or he's trying to this save. Keyboard. He's trying to save himself, but this keyboard. Gets yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know. Just, I could. I could just see you walk by, <laughs> not even trying to be sexy, and I get turned on. I definitely love when he does chores, gets my gears going. <laughs> chores. I could look at you half asleep, and I'd be turned on. Chores. Mm -hmm. Is intelligence or wisdom more useful? Which ones? Wisdom or intelligence? You almost can't have one without the other. Some people are smart. But they're not wise. That'd be someone who can read a book, everything in books. So which one is Damn better to, be, across the to street. be wise or to be smart? I can't pick either one. Really? Yeah. Uh, wise. Why wise? Because I'd rather be with, I can be with somebody that don't know how to read, but they know like they're wise enough to be like, don't go over there, don't do this, don't do that, that place over there ain't that, like, because they got the wisdom, they know stuff. I don't need a book smart person. Books can only teach you so much. If you're smart and gullible, what's that going to get me? I'll lean toward wisdom then as well. If you can meet one famous person, who would it be? You know, the rest of Tyson. <laughs> I would have thought you would have sound like a skater. Uh, I'd probably meet Ayanla Bansant. Ayanla. Um, where does your self worth come from? Mm hmm. My whatever struggle I overcame. Very good. Oh, I would agree with that. Which of your parents are you most like? I can't pick on it, so I can more like my mom. No. Same. <clears throat> How do you want to be remembered after you die? Mm hmm. I don't know. I never really cared. I don't care about who. I don't know. Da -da. Why haven't I thought about that? <laughs> Because <laughs> you think you're going to live forever. I just assume I'll just be forgotten like that. Of course not. I know in general, like those closer to me, but other than that. I... 
Um, for me, just that, you know, if I loved you, I loved you. What do you believe you are capable of achieving? Sleep. <laughs> um, what am I capable of? Anything. Anything I really put my mind to. I mean, just really mind over matter type of thing. Um, when was the last time you felt really close to me? Right now. Right now? Physically or mentally? Both. Well, we're sitting here being goofy doing this podcast. I mean, I always like when we lay on each other. I mean, that's what I feel closest to you. And the last question is, nuclear war has ravaged our city. It's no longer safe. Yes, I will be a cannibal. <laughs> We've just been told that we have three days to move before toxicity levels reach deadly. Where are we going? A beach? <laughs> just any beach or we'll just keep traveling the beach. We'll just keep traveling along the beach. I can feel that. Well, that was a fun little thing. Uh, what do you think about it? I had fun. You had fun. I had you a great had a good time. time. A love and marriage. Love podcast. and marriage. Um, no, yeah, this is my husband, everybody. This won't be his last podcast. And I reckon we want to talk about all kind of issues. We want to talk about he happens to be Mexican and I happen to be black. So we're going to talk about like issues within our culture. We're going to talk about colorism. We're going to talk about dating. We're going to talk about marriage. Like, you know, this is kind of like a get, a get to know you and the, me and the husband. And uh, anything you want to say before we leave, my love? Hi, Mom. Really? Smart, you want to say Happy Mother's Day to all of Happy us? Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Yeah, as well to me, Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there and all the people's mother is no longer around. Praying for you. You guys have a great weekend. And Love and Marriage is signing off. Blessings, everybody. Peace.